Hello and welcome to Portal. I'm Lemon Looking Bustable One. Hello. Oh. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from eating. The portal will open in three, two, one. Anyway, uh, we're playing Portal. I am playing Shell currently. Um, some people might notice that by my, the name that I give myself, Lemon the Combustible One. What game am I currently playing? That the second one has a bit about combustible lemons. Anyway, put it down. Yeah, it's a um, puzzle game. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material and emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Oh, yeah, it's basically you can't bring them with you, <laughs> unfortunately. And continue forward. This includes nothing. Nothing at all. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. <laughs> Keep it. Pick it up and then leave. And then put it down and then leave. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I do love Portal. Uh, this is actually only my second time playing through the original Portal. Um. It's because I played the second one first, so... You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grid. <laughs> in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. I jump down here. Very good. You are now in possession of the aperture science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you Oh. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Too late. <laughs> Been doing it for a while. Oh, I'm over there. <laughs> Huzzah. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I just love destroying these things. <laughs> oh, I want the radio. Why won't you let me have the radio? The radio gives like a nice sound track because otherwise it's quite soundless. Obviously. There you go. That is screen done. Welcome to test chamber four. You 
85.2 FM. So if I see a camera in there, it means you're looking at me. And this test chamber involves possible falling on head. This. Eyes. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Just do that, grab this, walk over here, push button, push button. Yay, my friend! As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. Bro, well, I went out when I destroyed the radio. <laughs> There's a radio to find on every floor, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Do, 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 do. Um. Well, um. Quad safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disability, such as vapors. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject Hong Kong here. <laughs> Honestly. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to urge it. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I can't actually remember how many um test chambers there are. I know there aren't a lot. In this one, because obviously it was a prototype game. So Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good It's the radio. I could hear it, but I don't know where it was. Oh, it was under there. Damn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Uh. Come on, Gladys. You should make easier, um, not easier, harder things for me. Oh no, loading screen. Loading screen. Ah. Yeah, seriously, make some hard test chambers for me. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. In there, pick this up. <laughs> See, I didn't notice this the first time playing this. But there's a radio in every room. I want that radio. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. <laughs> Hello again. To reiterate, previous language, the momentum. Uh, 
I think she's broken. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Or speedy heavy thing goes in, speedy heavy thing goes out. Generally, the object's um, heavier, its momentum will be greater. Uh, loading screens. The enrichment center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the enrichment center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Now I wait. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the radio! The radio is over there! Look at it! 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 It's over there! It's over there! Look at the radio! Look at it! Yeah! There you go. I'm coming to get you, portal gun. Coming to get you. Yay! I've got the dual portal gun. Device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in subject phone call here. Uh, that one, take me back. There's momentum. And then, oh, I pressed the button or a button. And now I look down here. I did it! Push! I push button. And then I jump off edge. Oop, I failed at that jumping. There you go. <laughs> oh, Cladus is so cute. Kilt with the guadas flying around through the air without a care. Oh. Click, click. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. Do 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 do. 
Um. Jump through. Keep over there. Go back through. Do the other way around. Yep, I did. Grab. I will grab you. I'll jump through, place that on the button. Portal there, portal there, and grab radio. Oh, yeah, I roll. As part of the previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Uh, I'll be missed, will I? I wonder what that is. Can you guess? I can, because I've played this before. And probably so have you. Or not. 